In 1982, Byron Price published this book. It contains 12 images and 12 corresponding verses. When you match the image with the verse, it reveals the location of a cask. Inside the cask is a key. When the key is returned to the Price family, the finder is awarded a precious gem. This is the secret, a treasure hunt. Hey everybody, don't forget to like, subscribe, leave comments if you like the video. Today we're talking about image 12 verse 10, which is the Statue of Liberty. I really like this one. There are tons of solutions out there from Grand Central Station to uh, Bowling Green Park, Battery Park, Staten Island, Brooklyn. I really like the Brooklyn solution. I think that one makes the most sense. Um, because there are so many solutions, I'm gonna end up making probably three videos about this. So um, here's the first one. So here's the woman, uh, looks like the Statue of Liberty kind of, uh, we'll get to that in a second, but she's wearing a, this flowing dress with her arms out in this kind of V shape and she's floating over the sea and there are these windows behind her with all of these different colors on them. There's a, what looks like an eagle slash seagull kind of flying creature flying behind her. So. All of this different imagery, all of this really cool stuff. They did a great job with this uh, this image. So, all right, let's dig into it and see what we can find. So first of all, the most obvious feature is the woman's face. This looks nearly exactly identical to the Statue of Liberty. Also, this part of the dress right here, inverted, also appears to be a torch. Um, I haven't seen that one, but I think I think that that's pretty clear. There are also different different solutions where this kind of looks like other things, but to me, that looks like a torch, Statue of Liberty. Looking up here at the bird, some people think that this bird looks like the Chrysler Building, which draw, draws you more inland, but it also looks like the eagles at the top of the ferry building on uh, Ellis Island, which is what I think. I think it looks a lot like that. There are also some bridges and some other eagles in the area that other people think it looks like, but for me, it looks like Ellis Island, and obviously Ellis Island are, is where most of the immigrants came through when they were coming to America, so that looks like an obvious choice. I also think that there are several other um, portions of the image that also draw us to Ellis Island, like this one. These blue buildings here uh, appear to be the main building on Ellis Island, but it also looks like it's shown from a very particular perspective, so it would be interesting to know exactly what that perspective is. Um, I think any time that uh, buildings are shown, just like the uh, Milwaukee solution, when a building is shown and you see that perspective, then um, I think you need to find out that perspective, see where it is, get to that point, and then basically you can kind of navigate your way through the story, through the images, through the verse from that point. So it would be nice to know exactly where the perspective is of this building, although that would be really, really hard to figure out, and it would probably be somewhere in the ocean, so you'd have to be out on a boat. I don't know. If somebody in New York could figure it out, you know, leave comments and let me know. Also, the rectangle right here, uh, looks like the dock at Ellis Island. It doesn't exactly have the same dimensions, which people will be quick to point out, but um, it's still a rectangle and I don't know, maybe maybe those dimensions are off. Some people also think that it may have been the Trade Centers, but that perspective doesn't really match up. So there are a lot of different solves here. Um, that's the thing about this one. There's They're kind of all over the board. So you just got to go through it, figure out what you can, and hopefully someday somebody's going to be right they're gonna figure it out and go find it there's also just a lot of stuff here that's that screams ellis island and that would be the most obvious choice though that's got to be there you know the statue of liberty nearby ellis island where the immigrants came through so that's got to be an obvious part of this the point is though which way do you go from here the verse isn't about ellis island so let's look at the imagery and see if we need to go north if we need to go south which way we need to go and figure out where this thing is so the whole image right here looks kind of like a door with uh, a window up at the top. This also looks like Grand Central Station. This also looks like the building inside Ellis Island. This also looks like Verrazano Narrows Bridge. So that I think is really appealing, but these, uh, these other solves take us to Manhattan and we're gonna talk about Manhattan in this one. So let's, let's go there. But uh, there are different solutions for Brooklyn and with Hamilton and Staten Island and we're going to talk about those in another video. This one we're going to go up and focus on Manhattan. 
So let's go on up to Manhattan and go ahead and take a look at the first. So right here, just starting out, in the shadow of the great giant. The shadow of the great giant is obviously the Statue of Liberty. There are other solutions that say that it could be um, the Chrysler building at the time or the trade centers, but um, for my money, it's the uh, Statue of Liberty. The arm that extends over a slender path could be an arm of the, the statue, or it could be the slender path, could be the uh, narrows, but it also could be all the way up here, uh, Manhattan. You have the East River here. You have the um, Hudson River here. That could be the slender path, or the slender path could be Manhattan itself. In summer, you'll often hear a whirring sound, cars abound. Apparently there's a lot of helicopter tours around Ellis Island. It could be that, it could be the boats, it could be the whirring sound, the cars. Obviously this is New York, there's cars everywhere. So maybe this is just saying that it's not Ellis Island, obviously, so you have to go somewhere else to be around cars. That makes sense to me that everything is kind of telling you Ellis Island or Liberty Island to begin with, but then he changes it up and says that there's cars everywhere. So it's saying you gotta go somewhere else. Although the sign nearby speaks of Indies native. This is probably the one thing that everybody agrees on. And if you don't, leave comments. Tell me, tell me what you think. But this is Alexander Hamilton. So Alexander Hamilton was obviously one of the first statesmen in America. He was an immigrant, he came over. And I'm not gonna tell the story about Alexander Hamilton. Go watch the musical, it's good. My wife and son love it, and I listen to the music constantly. Um, but that tells you all about it. Go watch it. It's good. Um, it's also it's a fantastic story. Like Alexander Hamilton's story is fantastic. So, so if you get a chance, check it out. If you're looking at Manhattan as the place where this cast could be buried, then the obvious place is the Trinity Church. That is where Alexander Hamilton is buried. That is actually where he's buried. The problem is this is a cemetery. There's also a clock at the Trinity Church, so um, there are clocks everywhere. Uh, those, those clues are, are really tough to read because there could be clocks anywhere. Speaks of Indies native, the natives still speak. Not sure what this means. Um, there are some solutions to Brooklyn that kind of make sense of this. Um, there's not a whole lot that makes sense here. Speaks of Indies native, the natives still speak of him of hard word in three volumes. Um, of him of hard word in three volumes there. I have absolutely no idea what that means. There are also solutions for this, but none that I like, um, none that, that, that I think apply to this. But if anything comes up, I'll let you know in the next one. Take twice as many steps as the hour or more from the middle of one branch of the V. So twice as many steps as the hour or more. Um, the clock shows 11, so that would be 22 steps or more. Um, I think that just because people are taller and shorter and so it's not going to be exactly 22 steps. I don't think that that means it's going to be 50 steps. I think it's going to be somewhere around 22, 23, 24, 25, somewhere in that range. It's not going to be a lot more than that. I think just or more is because of the randomness of how large people's steps are. And then the one branch of the V in Trinity Park, there are several um, V's that are on the sidewalk that stick out. So um, that makes sense, except the problem is if you're going from a step from a branch of the V, then you're still in the cemetery. And he didn't bury the cask in a cemetery, so don't go to the cemetery and start trying to dig, dig things up. Um, you're going to get arrested. You're going to go to jail for a long time. Look down and see simple roots in rhapsodic man's soil or gaze north toward the Isle of B. So, the V that it was just speaking of, instead of being in the cemetery, you could look down here at like Bowling Green Park. This is where basically you have Broadway ending right there. You have a triangle with Bowling Green Park. So there's a lot of people that think it's at Bowling Green Park. You can see this kind of solution um, on Expedition Unknown. Josh Gates goes over this a little bit. Um, and then when you look north to the Isle of B, that looks like um, Broadway Street is going right up there. It could be a solution to this. So I'm not completely fond of this solution. Um, it could be, um, it's a really great place because when you're standing there, you can see the Statue of Liberty. You know, you right up the street is Alexander, where Alexander Hamilton was buried. So this is a really kind of iconic spot. So at this point right here in Bowling Green Park, you have, it's a fairly small park, but at the same time, you don't know where to dig. Um, it's in rhapsodic man soil, which doesn't make sense. 
Um, so I just feel like there aren't a lot of clues right here that lead to an actual burial in Bowling Green Park. Um, it could also be a little bit south of there in Battery Park, but there's just not so many clues. There just aren't a lot of imagery that the, the uh, verse doesn't completely add up. So this is a spot that it could be. There are solutions out there for this. Um, I tend to think that it's not quite buried there, but um, who knows? I don't know where it is, so maybe you do. Anyway, leave comments. Let me know if you think it is. Next up, we're going to go to Brooklyn in the next video.